What's up guys, Linux Phantom Man back with another episode of my vlog here where we kind of take a look into uh, some old classic video games and do a little chit chatting about a few other things. Uh, so today's game is Terminator, The Terminator on the Sega CD and this was released on 1993, I think December of 1993 by Virgin Games. Um, and this was actually a really cool game. I remember actually going to the mall and buying this game. I had a Sega CD at the time and I this was actually one of my favorite platformer games of the time of that like specific time period. I, I played the shit out of this game. Um, but anyway, so I got a few things to chit chat about guys. Uh, so if you remember last week I was talking about that copyright thing on the Sega uh, video that I have. I haven't heard anything back from the appeal. Um, so, like I said, I don't think I'm going to win it, but, you know, whatever happens, happens at this point. It's like, well, playing Sonic and you get dinged with a copyright claim because of the Sonic music in the background. That's ridiculous. It's gameplay. That's So, anytime somebody's playing Sonic, they can get dinged and have it filmed. They can get dinged for the copyright claim. That's just, it's silly to me. But anyway, guys, we're going to start up this game here. Um, I'm going to change the options to go like super easy because, uh, yeah, this game gets kind of hard and this is the first time I've played it in quite a while and I just kind of want to show you guys at least the first level here, uh, what it looks like. So here you got the full motion video, which is kind of cool because most games at the time still didn't have any kind of like cutscenes or full motion video cutscenes like this. So you, you play as Kyle Reese and basically you're killing a whole bunch of damn Terminators is what you're doing. <laughs> so the second thing I kind of wanted to talk about, guys, is what's kind of going on in my life. So I think a couple blogs ago I told you guys about an upcoming surgery that might be coming up. Well, it is going to be coming up. Uh, it's, it's not just a, a fantasy now. It's a reality. It's going to happen. Uh, I do have to go get an MRI first so they can see really what's going on inside of there before they do anything. So the surgery will be a little bit down the road still, but uh, it, it'll be coming. And like I said, I'll still continue to post videos, especially these vlog videos, because these are pretty easy to do. But like my take a look at videos, those take hours and days to complete, um, to do research and just all the editing and all the other stuff. So might not be doing those so i'm probably going to be posting some of my old school content from back in the day when i had my old youtube channel up and uh, just kind of re-edit that stuff uh, there's still some pretty cool stuff i have from back in those days so you guys just letting you know now that's coming up in the future not now but coming up in the future um i also wanted to give a shout out to uh my boy um alex um He's actually going to be designing the new logo for my channel because, like I said in the last vlog, I'll be rebranding once I hit 100 subs. Um, I kind of want to get rid of the Linux Fan Man theme and go something that fits my channel a little bit more um, retro gaming related. So uh, just keep an eye out for that as well, guys. And this game does get, even on easy, it gets harder. I mean, it's not like I'm dying, but these guys. If you're on hard, these guys shoot you and they like kill you like within two shots. So that's why I put it on easy. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, what else is going on? So my kiddo's off to go into college this week. Uh, this is his, uh, he graduated from high school and this is his first year of college. So he's moving out of the house and going to live in a dorm uh, far, far away. So. Uh, that's going to be interesting, not having the kiddo around. Um, but it's definitely time. He's 18, he needs to get out, he needs to experience life and get on with college and get the education so he can get a good job, you know, that type of thing. Uh, and then our doggy is not doing well. Uh, we took him to the vet on Friday. We actually had an appointment on Monday to uh, basically put him down. but kind of bounce back over the weekend and so we're giving him like shots weekly probably for the next couple few weeks and then we'll probably still end up putting him down uh, we just want to spend a little bit more time with him he's still alive he's still kicking he's still happy wagging his tail playing uh, but you can tell things aren't good um, he, he's just basically full of cancer guys um, 
So, poor little pup, he's 14 years old, his time is coming upon him, so... Man, these freaking treaded robot things are hard. <laughs> but see, I, I'm trying to show you guys, like, where all the extra lives are and all this kind of stuff, because... Um, especially with, like, Easy On, you can do all this with, like, all those cannons, like, those ones up there are, like, completely just blasting you with shells uh, when you go up into the harder levels and things. So, and let's see what else, guys. So, for my next video coming up on Saturday, I still, I'm kind of contemplating, I filmed this on Monday. Uh, so it's Monday when I'm filming this. I'm still kind of contemplating what console, or maybe I might do another computer this week. Uh, there was another computer that in one of my retro gaming um, Facebook groups did tie with the Amiga 500. And I'm thinking about maybe doing that one. Uh, because in a couple other groups that one was pretty popular as well. Or I might do, I'm not going to give off too many clues, but a possible Z80 powered um, video game console. It, it's kind of a choice between the two for me this week. So we'll see what pops up on Saturday for you guys. But anyway, let's see. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to remember the end of this level. I know it's coming up soon here, guys. I'm not trying to make this video too damn long for you guys. Now watch this trick, you go all the way to the bottom first, and then shoot them, and you die, or they hit you a lot less, especially when you're on the harder levels, if you do that, it makes it a lot easier, and you can kill them, because they can't shoot downwards at you. Well, I always thought that was kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, I also wanted to give a shout out to a few cool retro gamers as well that uh, kind of popped up and subbed to my channel in the last couple of days um, and I subbed back to them. Uh, some really cool guys. You should check them out. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what their names were. God. And of course, I finished the level right as I was thinking of their names. Well, let's see, guys. We might go on to level two. Another full motion video here. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Projections. Retro Projections. Check out his channel. He's got some really cool stuff where he projects uh, retro games on a, like a projector and films it that way. Uh, it's different. definitely like a different take on, you know, watching retro games and stuff. So pretty cool. I'll start the second level here, guys, but I'm going to fade off into black. I just want to give a shout out to a couple more channels. Of course, my boy Hal Electronica uh, supplies all the music for my videos and all that stuff. Uh, really cool guy. You should check out his channel as well. Um, let's see. I don't know who else. I'm trying to think who else subbed to me, guys. I'm sorry that I don't remember your name in the middle of the video. Oh, my God. I think the other one was like Poor Man's Retro or something like that. Should pause this and take a look, but <laughs> I think it's Poor Man Retro. The Poor Man's Retro, uh, Retro, Poor Man's Retro Game Room, Retro Man Cave, or something like that. I'll, I'll post links down below, guys, so you guys can check out all their channels. But really cool guys, and of course, uh, you know MM12 Bird and my boy Maximum RMD and Retro Gamer, uh, Retro Gamer DX. He's really cool as well. You guys should check him out. He's across the pond over there in the UK. Really cool guy. Uh, but anyway, guys, I think I'm going to stop it here. It's getting pretty long here. I'm, not, I'm trying to keep it under 10 minutes. So, um, But I just wanted to say thanks to all my new subscribers. I saw a ton of people out there that subscribed to me. Um, like I said, you guys are the ones that support this channel. I also got a few new things coming up that I ordered. Uh, not so much like retro gaming related, but for the channel, for uh, like uh, video capture. My video capture device here is kind of old. It doesn't go to HDMI, which sucks. <laughs> so I can't like capture, uh, like say for instance, like if I did the Xbox 360 or something like that, or the PS3, I wouldn't be able to capture video from that. Um, so, uh, what else did I get? A tripod, a new microphone, uh, something a little bit better than what I got. I got 
uh, one of those blue snowball things. Um, and I, I like it, but I'm kind of upgrading with my microphone for like my voiceover work and stuff. Because you can hear a lot of popping and ticking from my voice and me breathing and stuff like that. But I'm not too fond of it. So. I think I'm about done with this level actually. So let me finish up this level here. But yeah guys, I think I'm about to let you go here. Here's the boss man here. Oh my god. How do you kill this guy? First some grenades, killed his freaking treads, but still the grenades are not effective. I guess I guess it's I gotta shoot him. It's been too long guys, I forgot how to do it. <laughs> he keeps hitting me. I'm gonna die. Let me just try shooting. Get out of his range. This is, yep, see that, yep, ain't it that easy. <laughs> but anyway, guys, another great look at a classic video game uh, from back in the day. But I just wanted to thank my subscribers once again, and uh, you guys have a good one. Peace out.